Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos, but I also do planning videos like the one you're about to see. bringing back an old video series that I did at the beginning of my channel and that was meal planning and this one isn't going to be quite as involved as the way I want to film and um, include more information in subsequent ones but we're just going to get started because I also have to um, not unbox this but kind of unpackage this and show you guys what I'll be using to track everything. So when I was at Hobby Lobby and I was doing my planner my planner think and trying to decide on everything that I was going to need for 2022. I did come across this. I did not have an intention to purchase a happy planner, a meal planner, um, but I thought that's kind of a good idea. I have had two recipe planners by the happy planner before and they've worked out great. Um, and I do keep recipes in there, but I think maybe I've been under a rock or something, but this is the first time I've seen a meal planner. So I am at least in the classic format. So I took the plastic off and I saved it because that's kind of like my little trick lately. And I've talked to you guys about that. Um, oh, this glue dot does not want to come off. All right, I'm going to have to struggle with that. But I take the plastic off and then I cut it down. I trim the edges um, for like the awkward pieces. And I keep this to make straight edge lines in my planner. And like my friend Rhonda pointed out, it's nice because it's already hole punched and you can just keep it in your planner like that. So what's the beauty of this truly isn't that it just makes such nice straight edges, but also you can see everything underneath it. So you can be real precise with your lines. So oh, this glue dot is going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to get like a little tiny alcohol pad because I don't like the residue either. All right. Fun facts about me. I am so weird. All right. So I'm going to take the belly band plastic off of this, keeping everything nice and straight and the little happy planner. Uh, welcome. Take that out and let's dive in because I haven't even seen this. I'm opening this with you. So you have your entire year on a glance for 2022 and also 2023, which is nice. And then this is just like bullet journaling. This is the same layout I've had in bullet journals, except mine was a little bit more involved. I had the entire month calendar written out at the top. So this is such a nice yearly year at a glance or a future log, whatever you call it. But if you check back at my previous bullet journal videos from years past, this is the same layout I do, even down to three months on a page. So Happy Planner must have been listening to the bullet journaling community and what they enjoy too. All right, so this is a really nice picture. I'm going to actually lower this just a bit. We're gonna reposition and um, show you guys this first um, divider. It says, there is no love sincere. Wait, there is no love sincerer. I don't know why I didn't want to see that. My eyes did not want to see that word <laughs> than the love of food. Sincerer is not a word I use every day. It doesn't flow off the tongue that easy. Um, and then of course you have your little farm fresh and I think this is supposed to be eucalyptus maybe. I don't know, and some blueberries and looks like cage-free eggs or farm eggs. And then you have your nice month on two pages, which is always promising. You can do so many different things with this. And then you get into, okay, so this is what I'm loving. Okay, I didn't, like I said, I'm opening this with you guys, but I didn't expect this and I'm absolutely loving it. Here is a spot for your grocery list and your date. So you can put your date in the header and they have a little bullet dot for all the different lines and you can make your grocery list here. So you could take this whole planner with you to the grocery store and prop it up in your cart and be so organized. I love it. So here's some spots for six spots actually for recipes and ingredients, which is really nice because there are a few things that I make and I need to actually write down and plan it out in my head. Like, okay, what goes into this particular dinner that I'm making and do I have everything? And that's how I kind of did my videos before I 
planned out what we were going to eat. Then I wrote down all the ingredients that I would need for a particular meal. And then I would go and take that and look in the pantry. Well, we don't have a pantry. We look in our cupboards and look in our refrigerator and see what we had. And then I would highlight what I needed to buy. So it's such a good system, foolproof system. So if you do it and you put the time into it, it actually... It just saves money. It saves chaos because I used to be somebody who would have something on hand, but either not look for it, not realize it, not be able to find it, it shoved back in a cupboard somewhere, and then I would rebuy it. And I just could not handle that anymore. So you see the tail end of December here. That's where we're starting off. And then, of course, you have starting here January 1st and 2nd. So Saturday and Sunday. But what I'm doing is I'm actually planning out this week. So it's going to be Monday through Sunday. And right now, the only thing that I'm truly planning with you guys is our dinners. So my husband and I both work and he has different days off than I do. And we just kind of try to make our schedules work as best as possible. And somebody cooks and somebody heats up and, you know, sometimes we eat out. So I have, if you're wondering what this shadow is over here, I have my little um, cheat sheet because if I didn't have that, I would not be able to think about these things impromptu on camera we would be here all day all right so first of all um you have spots for breakfast lunch dinner and snacks and ingredients to prep which is a really nice section to have this is really user friendly i'm very impressed with this happy planner i really really like it so i am going to write in this third column down for our dinners. So on Monday, we already have a frozen pizza and it is um, just the Supreme style. I don't even know, um, I think it's Red Baron. It's very inexpensive, but the Supreme is really good. I don't know about the other ones, cheese or just pepperoni or anything, but the Supreme is really good. So frozen pizza, and we're also gonna have a Caesar salad, but I'm gonna buy one of those Caesar salad kits if they still even have them on the market, because in my area, they recalled um, certain romaine lettuces, and then they expanded it to include other brands, and it just got crazy. So I'm gonna write down Caesar salad kit, and I'm going to highlight what I actually need to buy versus leaving unhighlighted. Um, no, I'm going to highlight what I already have. And then I'm going to leave unhighlighted the things I need to buy and then I can highlight them. All right, and I'm noticing I do have to apologize for the lighting because it's just not bright enough. I have to remedy that like ASAP. All right, so Tuesday for dinner, what we are going to do is go to a little diner. And it is so inexpensive. It almost, I'm going to put eating out. And then in parentheses, I'm going to put diner. Um, it's just like our go-to place. They have awesome iced tea, which is like high on my list of restaurant qualifications. And um, it's just so inexpensive. And when we eat there, literally, it I find it to be less expensive than if we had to cook the same meal at home. So just because there's just the two of us. Um, and then Wednesday, we are having lasagna. So my husband is going to be off on Tuesday. And he is going to make the lasagna this day, pop it in the fridge, and then we'll just be able to bake it um, on Wednesday. Just warm it up. Or maybe he'll not only prep it, but maybe he'll par-bake it. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. But anyways, so we're going to have lasagna. And then let's flip the book. We're on to Thursday. On Thursday, we're going to have grilled chicken. And I do have a rhyme or reason to some of these combination, combinations. So grilled chicken. And frozen potatoes. We have just a couple different ones that we buy. And they're really good. They're just like with the frozen vegetables. So what we usually do is like we will steam them in bag like it calls for you know in the microwave and then we put them um in the air fryer to crisp them up and they just come out so good that way and then roasted broccoli because we are on a kick with roasted broccoli lately i don't know what it is but we're just like obsessed and all we do is put like olive oil a little bit of salt um i don't even know if we put anything else on it 
I don't think so. I, why am I making it so complicated in my head? But it's just so good. We roast it in the oven and it comes out like all charred and crispy. All right, so Friday we're going to have shrimp and I'm just talking like breaded shrimp that's in the freezer. We're gonna have some rice and we have canned corn. And are you guys particular about the kind of corn that you buy? Because I buy, I think it's Del Monte because it's the non-GMO. And I, I don't know. I mean, there's so many additives and like prepped food and everything. I, I don't know if I'm, I, I hope I'm doing the right thing. I mean, I know that's a good thing, non-GMO, but who knows? I don't know, but I do try to buy that kind. Um, and then Saturday we're going to eat out and I don't know where. And then on Sunday, I'm very much looking forward to this. I am making quiche and it is so simple. And we're going to make a hash brown casserole and this will actually serve us for some lunches too, like the leftovers. I'm not a big leftover person. I don't know. Are you guys, do you guys like leftovers? Do you not like them? I just, I don't know. I'm just not there with it all the time, but I will eat some leftover quiche. And I'm gonna pick up some baguette bread. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love quiche. All right, so ingredients to prep. No, no, no. Let's go back. Let's go back to, how many grocery lists do we have? Do we have one for every week? I'm hoping. Mm -mm. No, we don't. We have three grocery lists for the entire month. Now, what I don't like about this is that I really only, when I meal plan, I do a week at a time. If I do anything beyond that, I usually end up disappointing myself <laughs> because things change and plans change and I really don't like doing that. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to list all my ingredients at the bottom of each page where it says ingredients to prep. I'm not so much going to be prepping them. I mean, some of them I will, but this is just an ingredient list. So I need to get, I need to get lasagna noodles. And then do you guys buy um, the no, the no boil? Like, you know, they just use the ones that just cook in the oven because I try to use those. Actually, Fun fact, you can pretty much use any lasagna noodle without boiling it. As long as you use enough sauce with it and there's enough moisture in that, they'll still cook. Honestly, it's a true story. All right, so we need milk. We need ricotta cheese. And we need eggs. But see, I think we have eggs, so that's something I would highlight. Um, and then ground beef, because we that's what we put in ours. When we usually just make like a simple lasagna, we don't get real fancy with like the bechamel sauce and everything. We use like a jarred tomato sauce. So I'm not putting on any airs. Um, you guys are getting the real deal, the true reality of how we do things. Um, I'll probably get some Italian bread or maybe whatever. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to get garlic bread in the frozen section. Um, and then Caesar salad kit we need. Those are so good. I don't know if you guys like Caesar salad. I love the ones that are like the chopped Caesar salad kit where everything's like chopped up super fine. Um, and then we're eating on Tuesday so we don't really need anything else. So hold on. We're gonna need mozzarella cheese. That is one thing we will need. And I'm sure I'll think of other things. All right, so grilled chicken, we need the chicken. But I think we have that. In fact, I'm sure we have that. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, and then frozen potatoes, I do have to pick those up. Okay. Somebody's setting off fireworks outside. Broccoli. And then shrimp rice and I want to use like a flavored rice 
and corn, maybe even like a, I don't know. I just want to use like some kind of good flavored rice. And then Friday's eating out or Saturday's eating out. And then Sunday is the quiche. So I need crust. I already have eggs on my list. Um, I have milk on my list. I have cheese. Oh, I want Swiss cheese too for that. Cause I'm going to do a combo and I want cheddar too. And, um, we get a lot of cheese at Aldi's. It's so inexpensive and it's really good. So if you guys haven't checked that out and you have an Aldi's near you available, check it out because you guys get some good deals. And then we need the hash browns for the hash brown casserole. Sometimes you can use tater tots for that. It just depends on whatever you like. And I'm going to have cheese already and I need... Oh, cream of chicken soup. It's kind of like, you know, the, the casserole you make, cheesy potatoes. And sometimes we use the cream of chicken. Sometimes we leave it out and then we need sour cream. And then we have the cheese from the other ingredients. So we add some cheese to that. And then baguette bread. So we have that. Okay. And I said crust eggs okay oh and i need spinach for the quiche and tomatoes all right i'm not going to put any meat in it it's just so good even without it's fine you don't even miss the meat all right so here is our entire meal plan for dinners now let's go through and highlight the things that we already have so for sure i know oh I for sure I know we have tomato sauce. Ooh, that's oh, I know we have eggs, but we might have to get more. Um, cedar salad, kit, blah 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 blah. Need all that. We have chicken in the freezer. Um, we need broccoli. We have shrimp in the freezer. It's just um, I think it's called sea pack, and it's just like a breaded butterfly shrimp. Oh, it's so good. Um, we have the corn. Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, hash browns, cream of chicken. I think we have cream of chicken. I'm almost positive. I got bread, spinach, tomatoes. Okay, so that is what we have. That was the wrong color to use, my friends. That looks horrible. All right, so this is our meal plan for the whole week. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So instead of using those pre printed sections for the grocery store, because there's only three, um, I like to be able to have this at the bottom of the page as my grocery list so I can segment it out and use it week appropriately. So this is just good for this week. Oh, and the frozen pizza. I didn't even write pizza on the list, but that is something that we already have. We've had that in the freezer for a couple weeks. So. I'm surprised it's still in there. So we have the pizza. And I'll probably have to look at this again and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. But, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I feel so organized looking at this entire layout. So I probably will back plan and plug in what I had for breakfast and lunch just as something fun to do. Um, fun for me. But I love it. This is such a great little planner. Oh my gosh. I'm very happy that I picked this up. And guys, when I picked up these planners, um, the ha current happy planners that I'm using, I got them at Michael's 60% off. I also had rewards that I was able to use and a gift card. I mean, this is just crazy. I feel like I got like the deal of the century. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the Sunday meal plan and a grocery list prep. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I will probably... Um, get into like a more substantial video with my meal planning. But for now, I just want to do the basics and I wanted to check out this planner with you guys. So I hope you're doing well and I hope that you have a fantastic week and that if you haven't already subscribed, that you will stick around and do so. I'll see you in my next one. Take care.